Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. You got mail. You feeling all right? At least I wore my hat. Hey, Santee. Did they do Halloween stuff back then? Sarah Cruz. Halloween in the Old West. Yeah, we can do that. Roots of All Hallows' Eve date all the way back to Great Britain and their Celtic beliefs. A pagan celebration called Samhain, where for a limited amount of time, the veil to the afterlife is lifted, allowing us to interact with the dead. Food is presented as a gift to those who have passed on for ensuring a safe winter. Other cultures have a similar custom. For instance, Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is very prominent here in the Southwest with the Mexican culture. Feasting is also done here. Although, if you don't get the family recipe right, your departed great-grandma is liable to get really angry. By the time American colonists were thriving in the New World, their acceptance of many different cultures formed what we know today as Halloween in America. The whole dressing up and going to your neighbors in costume thing was brought to us by the Irish immigrants in the mid-1800s, and there's not a lot of information that this was widely practiced in the Old West. Commonly, parties were held for children and adults who feasted and played games. One of the games was bobbing for apples, which was actually about courting. Another one was to have a young girl stand in front of a mirror at midnight, and if she was fortunate, the reflection of the man she would marry appeared. Yeah. Many of these English Halloween games place emphasis on young girls and their future matrimony. Hmm. Nowadays, Michael Myers won't allow young girls to even have futures. So yeah, uh, a lot has changed. Trick or treating has roots in this early Irish tradition, although that term didn't come about until the 20th century. Early on, emphasis was placed on the trick, and probably the only time during the year that mischief was tolerated. I got it wrong. Decorations were not purchased at stores like today, but made out of harvest items like hay and dried corn and even jack-o'-lanterns. Even though we're more interested in horror today as it relates to Halloween, autumn colors still play a big role in our association with this holiday. The autumn leaves of red and gold Let's remember that Halloween in America was intended for fun and giving everyone a sense of community. For our pioneers, it brought cultures together and was just another factor that did its small part to helping settle the Wild West. Oh, look. Look where? Behind the bush. I don't see anything. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Hey folks, it's Dan from the Arizona Ghost Riders. Dan, that's my line.